So where are you from? From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay, and tell me why you're here. Um, I'm here for a lot of reasons and there's a lot of symptoms actually, but if I were to sum it up, it would be excruciating headaches at the base of the skull and kind of temple area behind my eyes and jaw pain every other morning, feeling tired all the time, um, just waking up for, I mean, just not feeling right because I'm in pain all the time. And it's been happening for around a year, full year now. I had braces done and they removed it August 2014. And January 2015 is when all my symptoms started. Concurrently though, you're a pretty active guy. You're, you play a lot of sports, you lift yep. weights, you dance, things like that. And you've taken a few blows though to your to your body, right? Yeah, I take a lot, I'm, I've got a lot of injuries in total. I mean, I forget how many injuries I've got gotten so far. Yeah. And, um, and it's just one of these injuries that I'm not sure if it's my braces or my injury that brought me here. Yeah. But, um, well, Right now, we're gonna figure out if my jaws are the yeah, problem. If it's the bite. Yes, and uh, if it has anything to do with my headaches and debilitating state that I'm in. Gotcha. Yeah. So who have you seen for all this? What? Who have you oh, been to? I can, if I were to put on a paper, it'd be. It just. It, I can't even write on a paper. I mean, I've been to neurologists, neurosurgeons, physiotherapists, acupuncturists, massage therapists. Um, just. Uh, way too many way too many people and um i just keep getting really vague answers like oh it could be a cervicogenic headache or it could be migraines or it could just be a cervical um tension or muscle spasms or it's just they've never given me a certain answer or um if i go to a pain med m uh, medical like pain uh, yeah the, pain anesthesiologist yes um uh, specialist and uh, he's he'll just give me his pinkles uh, pinklers and um, usually they give me but there's no good diagnosis no no they just diagnosis. don't diagnose the problem properly that's like why I'm here is because I've seen your YouTube videos and I've seen that you come up with more objective data and that's like proof showing you that hoping this can fix me and all that. Well, if it's your bite throwing your muscles of mastication and some of your accessory muscles in your neck, that's the causative agent. Yes. If you're lucky, that's all it is and this will nail it. You know, we imaged your joints with MRI, we looked with CT, there's nothing really wrong up there. You look pretty good. Yeah. You know, I'm not qualified nor can I really interpret a cervical MRI, which you don't have yet, but that would be probably your next step if this was not definitive. Yeah. But, you know. We're gonna make bike fit right, and make it all yeah. efficient. We're gonna prove that it is, and we're gonna see what happens. Exactly. How sensitive are your teeth before you do that? And just in your head, what do you think? Zero to ten. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'm like a two, maybe. Okay. Give me a swish. Five seconds. Tell me what it does. What's your number? No, mine is like four and a half. <laughs> A little bit more maybe five yeah yeah you have trouble drinking like a cold it's ice in the cream, back you know a milkshake i usually don't like ice i mean i don't you like ice it? at all yeah. like i never put ice in anything i because? just I, I don't know i just i just never liked it so Has i it thought always been that way or do you would you say that's just the last year or two uh can't really say but i'm pretty sure maybe quite like two years back maybe two three years back and when did you have the braces on uh, this was like recent, so it was like a year. August, yeah, a year. But they started moving your teeth about two or three years back. Yeah, yeah, 2013. Mm -hmm. so. They start doing the bite out of whack. Mm -hmm. Things get sensitive. 
Right. This morning, how do you feel? Do you have a headache? Is your neck tight? What's um, going on right I now? I came in with, uh, with a headache at the back of the base of my skull. I mean, it's always constantly there. You've always got it. It's always a six out of 10, like, uh, just constant headache. Yeah. And then it goes up and down, I don't know why, just like. Just there. It's just there and just like, hey, I'm just gonna get bad today and it just goes up to an eight, can't just do there. anything. Like when that, when that um, headache just goes up from six to like that nine, yeah. all you can do is lie down on the couch and just hope for the best. Just chill. Just chill. I go for real, Back home really hard. Off to the right. You're super swift, right? Right side doesn't need much. That was pretty easy. Let's see your left side now. Left. Okay. Definitely different. Yeah, Forgetting before it was like it was it was worse. What's your face feel like? Um, face. Yeah, this part right here feels weird. <laughs> Describe it. Um, feels kind of like I don't know, like uh, like it's mushy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just like mushy. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's, I think like it's a deep, good thing. In front of your ear, but deeper, right? Yeah, it's just right here. It's kind of loose, numb. A little loose? Yeah. It's kind of loose and kind of numbish. I don't know what, why that is, but... Almost tingly? Yeah. Well, it's on the right side, especially. Um, you yeah. know why? I don't know. <laughs> your right lateral pterygoid, right... The lateral pterygoid is the muscle that connects to the cartilage. Yeah. And it helps you move off to your left. It was a very, excuse the language, but it was an ass beating for you to move left before. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, so pterygoid okay. had to push really hard. Yeah. To get mandible to swing off to your left because you had long disclusion. Mm -hmm. You're smacking your back teeth too hard. So now we've given you a canine again. We've got proper disclusion on your left side. Yeah. Hence your right lateral pterygoid is like it doesn't know what to do with itself because it's been spastic for mm -hmm. a year, year and a half. It's like, oh god, I'm so right now it's kind of like letting go. <laughs> yeah, so that's what that is, yeah. probably. You had a headache walking in. Do you have one now? No. Are well, you glad you had it done so far? Yeah, yeah. Who knows, right? But No, changed. I just really like that left canine. <laughs> <laughs> Been, what, four days? Four and a half days? Yep. How do you feel? Okay, so improvements-wise, there's been a lot. Um, Specifically, jaw pain around the ears. Yeah. On top of the ears, behind the eyes, and temporal area right here. All that feels. All hard. that just like the first day I did it, it, just felt much more relaxed and like it was like someone was pulling strings kind of, and just like released like that type of feeling. Sure. And all I would say like the bite feels amazing. That's first like finally feels like my jaw has a place to stay. It's not like rolling around anywhere. Yeah. And then what else is, I, I used to have this uh, lot of facial pain, like right down here somewhere. Every morning I would wake up and I'd be like, just sore and I'd be like, okay, maybe I just slept wrong or sure. I don't know, maybe it's because of whatever. Um, and yeah, I don't wake up with that anymore. So that's one good thing. Good. That's completely gone. And um, teeth sensitivity. First of all, I never knew I even had it. Because <laughs> I never drink, I, I never drink cold water anyway. So um, I That's thought I thought I wouldn't water. have it, but then when she gave it to me, it was it was pretty much, it was pretty sensitive. I mean, it would it would linger on after. So I mean, that was a shock to me because I didn't even know that was there. How's that now? It's like a one, like it's like it's barely noticeable. Yeah. It's just like one. I maybe mean, I think it's my wisdom tooth that's just causing that problem. I think because it's yeah, like way in the back left out. side. But other than that, it's like a one, and I don't feel anything. And you were a five initially, yeah. as I recall. I was a five. Uh, shoulder, neck, I would say that um, it it's still kind of there, but maybe it'll take some time to go away. I'm not sure about that. Yes, that one you don't really feel much of a difference yet. Yeah, that's okay. just like, that's like the constant one. But other than that, I'm talking about the, just like facial-wise and like the whole up here mm -hmm. kind of thing, that's completely gone. It's like, mm -hmm. it's almost... Like it's maybe give it a two three more days. I think it's just gonna completely go away. Yeah. How about your headaches? 
the headaches again temporal area for like just the whole this side like the face forward side right here it's all gone uh, just down the back, you know, still the occipital. occipital side, right in the middle it's still kind there. of thing, and just yeah, that side, that thing is a little iffy. I'm not sure about it yet, but that's what I've been dealing with. So still him, still. you don't feel any different. No, he feels the same. He feels definitely the same. And the neck stiffness is kind of the same. Yeah, like face. when it kicks in, the face is like normal. Got it's, it. Yeah, before Where? my face was very tight, all the time. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, there's probably cervical input. Yeah. There's got to be. I mean, I shouldn't say that. You know, give it a month or two. You okay. might, I mean, I would get a cervical MRI yeah. regardless. You know, I would have that ordered by someone competent and have them interpret it, probably yeah. a neurosurgeon. Um, you know, it may take you a while to get that done anyhow. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you know, let's see what time does after this. You know, whatever you're talking, midline of the neck, about two-thirds of the time, that's cervical. You know, like Sir. midline of the head, excuse me. Okay. Like you know, like up like here. Yes, like okay. a mohawk. Right? Okay. When you're talking more to the side, that's usually TMD. That's usually TM. Okay. But sometimes, as I told you in the beginning, they cross talk. They're like one yap into the other. Yeah. Neurologically. So it's not impossible that it was the TM issue, the muscle issue. Yeah. Right? Because you didn't really have a TMJ problem mm -hmm. as far as the joint itself. Your problem was muscular. Muscular. The and muscular. that's been, looks like we knocked it out. Yeah, it's definitely. Gone without a split. <coughs> yeah. yeah. So you know, that's, that's pretty cool. And your cold sensitivity. See, all this points to what I do is fixed. It's fixed, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's proven. Like, you showed me on that thing. Yeah, the data is uh, that's, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, How's your clenching and grinding? Uh, that's... Um, I think that's gone because in the morning I would wake up with facial pain. Yeah. And now that I'm not waking up with facial pain, and I think that's like linked together. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not waking up with facial pain, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm not like. You're probably not doing it as much. Yeah, I'm not like clenching my teeth all the time. Like, yeah. Like I felt like it was just tight. Look, we all do, but when we do too much, that's when you get wore out. Yeah. So you know you might find over the years that you're gonna have times where you do more than not. Yeah. Um, Especially after you have new dental work. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the tricky part. You see, a lot of times the fillings and the crowns are going unmeasured with just that piece of paper. And how's it feel? Yeah, yeah. The subjective, you know better now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Make sure you find that, a dentist that <coughs> has an understanding of what T-scan is and uses it. Yeah. You know, at least that's maybe he won't use it that day, but if you come back with a problem, he has the gadget and he'll pull it out for you. Yeah. And on a side note, we're going to be building a training center here this year. So okay. We're trying to get yeah, people is, to learn about mm -hmm. this stuff. Yeah. That is amazing. This yeah. this technology is just on like on a new whole new level. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But you got to know how to use it. Mom, what do you have to tell the doctors? Forget um, the patients. Uh, this is for doctors. Yeah. Because you've been watching them go through this. Oh, uh, the treatment is amazing, and the technology what you have used is like very nice, and it's very easy to find out what's the real problem with the patient yeah yeah and it has really helped my son a lot uh, with the stuff uh, of uh, modern technology what has been used yeah in his treatment well, yeah, so, uh, yeah definitely i mean one more thing if you if you think you have a tmj issue like you're 100 percent sure kind of feeling yeah. i say definitely come down here because i mean this is like this is like the most advanced place ever like for any dentist wise, I mean, this is like the place to come for like um, any muscular issue in the jaws. I like Chopin.